Oh, yeah, guys, Cliff Fenton. All right, today I'm going to go through this pouch here. I've only just recently put this pouch together, and um, basically it's everything I used to carry in my pocket, sometimes in my jacket, or in my jacket, like my puffer jacket. I've now condensed it into this pouch because having it all over the place, apart from two things, as you already know, the toilet roll, the tissues, toilet wipes, and the um, hand sanitizer wipes, whatever you want to call them, disinfectant wipes or antibacterial wipes, they're all still going to be in my pocket. But everything else is now in here, or on my belt, in my belt, or in that's my EPC fire kit. Right guys, as I was saying in the intro, do apologise if it's shaking, I've got no tripod, so do apologise for that. But as I said in the beginning, I have been working on this pouch here, this is 99% of the stuff was in my pocket of my jacket, if I went out with my jacket on, in my pockets of my trousers, everything I guess, apart from two things, as you will know, is that's my toilet kit, I keep that in my pocket, so I don't put that in the belt, on this pouch, in this pouch. Right, we'll go for that pouch quickly, in a minute. Right, quickly go through this one. This is my belt. As you all know, this is my survival belt. This has got a survival kit built all inside of it. If you want to see that one, I'll put a link to that one in one of the corners. I don't know which one it is, but I'll try and remember to do that. I'll try and do that. I will. If I don't do that, I'll put it in the description instead. So that's the belt. And I've just dropped the pouch. <laughs> right, that's the pouch I'm going for today. Yeah, there's my EDC fire kit. If you want to see that, I'll do the same again. I'll put that in the corner as well as maybe in the description as well. So that's that one there. All right, this is the one I want to go for. You. This one here, right, as I said, is every single thing what looks to be in my pockets. And everything like that. It is a copy of the Max Edition Janice, I think. I know it's a copy. I know it's not the real thing. Because for one, it doesn't say Max Edition on it, and for two, I don't think it's Max Edition. <laughs> and I know it's not Max Edition. Right. Two zips, as you can see, I put two power cord coral reefs on it. Yes, I know, I know people are going to say power cord weighs weight, but at the end of the day, I don't care. Right, I'm going to open this one up quickly for you. Right, I've just opened it up, guys. I had to pause for a minute to open it. Right, the zip goes on this one, goes all the way down to here. There's no sleeve here. There is a sleeve there with some Velcro inside as well as on the outside to put a patch. There is these money clips, so if you want to put it onto a rucksack, you can. There is the webbing, that's the sleeve I put it in onto my belt. There is another one underneath it as well. Right, we'll go through this reasonably quickly. Let's get the camera to focus. I am using my phone because the camera is dead and I forgot where I put the charger. So, yeah, I do apologise for that. Right, at the bottom here, I do carry some extra tinder, these tinder tabs. These are quite good to have, in my opinion. I like them. As I said, guys, this was all the stuff what I used to carry in my pockets. Some duct tape. And one of these stupid little multi tool knives, blades type things. I don't really like using it, but never mind. Don't really use it that often, but it's there just for an emergency. There's so much organisation in this pouch as well. I have a Space blanket or foil blanket. I have a mini compass. Base plate compass actually points north as well. Some coffee filters because just in case I need to purify water. A reusable tea bags. Some spare stormproof matches. Your shield matches, some potassium permanganate. Yes, I do carry this instead of water purification tablets. I do have water purification tablets, I am thinking about putting them in instead of that. A child's fork. Spare battery for my torch, for the one on my keys or the one what's in here. Whistle. Boo Boo Kit. I'll go for that one in a minute with you. Go for that one separately in a minute. Two. 
insect repellent bands, insect bands, whatever you want to call them. Torch, fantastic little torch. I used to carry this one every day, but now it lives in here. No, it's going to be living in here. I should say, not is in here. It's going to be living in here. Tick tweeters. Spare Hune batteries. Look like I need to replace some of them because there's only a certain amount of them left. That's everything in that pouch, guys. I'll show you quickly what the pouch looks like. I'll show you in the light. You can see there's so much organisation in here. It's lovely. And I've fitted all of that in it. Apart from that one, of course, because that's where my phone lives as well as my notebook. Right. I'll go through this now. I'm going to pause you quickly to clear all that up and then I'll bring you back. Right then guys, welcome back. I do apologise for that. I had to, pull, I had to cancel. I had to stop. <laughs> um, basically guys, everything what goes in here is laid out here. I just thought it would be a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. I have some of this sport tape. Yeah, my, if I twisted my ankle or anything like that, I am. I am. Add in one of those crimp bandages, I think they're called, or one of the um, other ones. I don't know what they call them, but they're ones what six themselves. I am adding one of them into this kit after I've done all this. I've decided that already because going through this little bit, it's just not enough. But as I said, it's just a basic boo boo kit, really. So I have some of that. I have some alcohol prep pads. I have some of these antiseptic cleaning wipes. Some plasters or band aids in different sizes. Two vials of super glue. That's not mainly for first aid, that's for first aid as well as smaller silly little things as well as a spoon but not silly little things I should say repair okay, stuff on some sort of getting some, some kit so yeah that's everything guys I if anybody else has got anything I should, I should add into this boo boo kit please let me know because I'm trying to cut down on stuff and things and that was one thing I should I should really say I should have cut down on I don't really use it. So, that's everything, guys. So, give me a second. Right, guys, that's everything. Um, everything I carry in that little pouch now. As I said, this, all, most of this stuff, 99.9% .9 of this stuff, I used to carry in my pockets, on my jacket, and my trousers pockets. And the truth is, I just didn't like it anymore like that. So, I thought if I could content sit down a bit more, I could add it to the pouch kit and add it into a, pa into a pouch instead of carrying it all in my pocket it might be a little bit better I know some of you are going to say certain things like you need to add certain pieces of kit as I said I got a survival kit in my belt I have my fire EDC fire kit I always carry it every single day without fail I just carry it even if I'm in the house I still carry it as well as the belt this kit is not an everyday carry for everyday carry it's a woods everyday carry but I might might cut it every day. I'm done all yeah. I might I might see what it's like. I'll give it a go for about a month and I'll let you know on that what it's like. And um so yeah. This is um that pouch of what I've just put what I've put together today. So please tell me what you think. And I do apologise that this video is very long. I know it is. So thank you very much. Please put the thumbs up if you put the, if you like this video, please put the thumbs down if you don't. And thank you sing thank you so much for every single person Subscribing to the channel lately, we're 203 subs, I think, from from today. I think, if I've counted, if I've looked properly. So, thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.